Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world, is cryptocurrency. That's right. So this is a video that I was asked to make today by one of our community members who was asking some questions about our future plans. He is one of our NFT holders. So I decided to answer some of these questions in a video instead so that I can give some advice on what to do while we wait. Because some of the plans for our NFT collection and our token launch, which is coming very soon, will take some time because we want to make sure we do everything the right way, as always. So what can you do with your funds while you wait, basically, right? So it's actually concerning two um, questions. The first one was, what can I do with my funds while I wait? Should I buy more NFT or should I do something with my funds? Where to put my funds? How to move my funds, right? And another email came in. This was quite a while ago, actually. I've just been meaning to answer it. I've been busy, sorry. Uh, enjoying your YouTube videos, but short and sweet, so no more telling you how great you are. Thanks. <laughs> I need Matic and Raptees for an NFT, and they have to be on Polygon Network, right? I'm very new to crypto, so a lot of this seems very overly convoluted. With that having, with what with having the right wallet, the right coin to purchase, right coin for gas, right network, etc. Unfortunately, Coinbase from the USA is kind of limited in choices isn't being very user-friendly to me, so I couldn't buy the Crypto Mischief NFT I wanted or the Kaju Nerds, which is another project we covered about two weeks ago. I was going to have a go at despite an afternoon of trying. I'll keep at it though. So don't worry, Bob Tails 422 We're also going to cover your question as well because they're kind of linked, okay? So what he's talking about is this, and this is my website, CryptoMischief.io. Come to NFT and you will come to our NFT section, right? Our NFT section covers um, our main collection, which is on Polygon Network. It is a collection of 1,000 NFT. So far, we have 861 minted, right? So there are still some to be minted. Or if you didn't want to join the collection, you could just buy them on, on, on OpenSea with a floor price a little bit below the mint price. You could just sweep one up here as well. You'll need wrapped Ethereum on Polygon for this. And you will need wrapped Ethereum on Polygon to mint one as well if you do want to mint one. The benefits of minting one are that you might get a secret design, something that looks cool, these kind of things, right? If you just want one, you can get one for 0 0.073 right now on OpenSea, 0 0.1 ETH right now on uh, the website. You can also come to our raffle, the ticker here. We'll bring you to the raffle where you can also buy tickets for them and then win one for as low as $10, right? all using wrapped teeth on Polygon Network, right? So for example, right now you could bid for this uh, prize, which is about to populate. Um, there are 29 tickets bought so far, 50 tickets sold, and then one person will win this one. And all these NFTs have the same benefits, right? The benefits being we get airdrops monthly. We've airdropped $62,460. We have another airdrop coming on June 15th, that's in four days, and we do that monthly. You can join our private DAO by just clicking on this button here, join the private DAO, uh, vote to get the airdrop. There's a vote running right now. You have three days left to vote, by the way, for that, right? So all of this needs wrapped teeth. So the first question we're going to answer is actually going to be Bob's question on how to get wrapped teeth and what to do. Then we're going to answer another question, which is what to do, what to do with my funds and where to move them for the next phase, which will be for our PXP. 404 token launch, ERC20 token or 404 token, right? With liquidity and we're airdropping that to the holders of our Polygon collection, right? So what to do with funds? Where's this going to launch? So I can give you some advice and I can also show you how to quickly move between chains. The answer to all of these questions is Rubik. Link in the description. This is Rubik. Rubik is a fantastic bridge. You can bridge between any ERC20 chain with almost any token. You can cross chain swap, move back and forth, low gas, choose the provider you wanna use for this as well. They are the best in the business, in my opinion. So we need to move, so we'll come here to the bottom one, right? We need to move to the Polygon network. So we find Polygon network and we need wrapped ETH for this, right? So we come here, we type in wrapped ETH and it should populate, there we go. Boom, we have wrapped teeth. Now we just choose where we want to send it from, right? Where do we want to send wrapped teeth from? Can be anywhere, right? If you have BNB coin, you can use BNB on Binance Smart Chain. If you don't have BNB, if you are on Avalanche and you have AVAX, you can use AVAX. If you want to go to Arbitrum, use Arbitrum, right? Wherever you have funds in DeFi, 
send it to this um, account, send, uh, use this, right, to then send it over. So here I'm using ETH and Arbitrum. It's going to land on Polygon on my same wallet with wrapped ETH. Now, concerning Bob Tail's question, he said he's using Coinbase. Coinbase is base chain, right? They, their native chain is base chain. So I have Coinbase. I know we can do this, right? We can then send the base chain ETH to your MetaMask and it will arrive on base chain. So you come here. We don't have base chain immediately here, but don't worry. It's going to be here. There we are. So here we have base chain and you will have ETH because that's what you're sending to from Coinbase to your wallet, your MetaMask or your Rabi or whatever. It will arrive as ETH. Then you can just send that yeah, 0 0.1 ETH, for example, over to Polygon as wrapped ETH. The only other thing you're going to need then is a tiny bit of Polygon Matic to pay gas to mint the NFT. So you would then change that um, from wrapped ETH to Polygon. And, you know, a tiny amount is enough. 0 0.001 right, is enough Matic for hundreds of transactions because transactions on Matic are really cheap. That's why you got five Matic. You can do 5,000 transactions with five Matic probably, right? Send that over to the same wallet. Then that will arrive. Then all you need to do is switch your wallet over to Polygon Chain right here. And then your tokens will arrive. So when you come to the SCC website and you say mint your NFT now, it will take you to the minter. It will connect to your wallet and then it will read that you have the wrapped teeth and you can then mint your NFT from here. Or, like I said, you can come and buy tickets for NFT here. Or you can come to OpenSea and buy them all with wrapped teeth. So that's Bobtail's question covered. Now let's get into the more complex ideas, right? So we have now, you now might, might have the NFT, you've purchased the NFT. You're thinking, okay, so what can I do? You get the airdrops every month. If you vote, you get into our DAO. We have some pre-sales coming up very soon, actually, which I've been booking. And we're all, we're motoring on as usual, right? And we're building, we're releasing a token. It is going to be a token. It's going to have liquidity. And the first people who are going to be airdropped the token are the holders of these NFT. They will get the token. There's going to be a whole like a write up on who is eligible for the token, but no 100%. Anyone who owns the SEC NFT is going to get the biggest share of the token when I drop it. So this token here, we're just going through the last part of the very long audit process, right? Because we made this token from scratch, it's not a fork of anything. It's my token, right? You can see here it says tokenomics. 25% will be airdropped to SCC and 25% will also be available for people who are staking and earning this token as well. It's very much a community token. Now, there will be a farm for this token too, a yield farm. I'm making a yield farm, right? So the question that was posed today was what to do with my funds while I wait for the yield farm. So I'm 99% certain that we're going to be launching PXP, the token, on base chain, right? I'm 90% sure, 99% sure we are. So the logical thing to do then would be if you do have any funds and you're waiting for, you know, because the person who asked me does have a lot of these NFTs. So I suggested to him, don't continue buying NFTs. You know, why don't you move your funds to base chain and start preparing for the launch of the farm and the token launch, right? Because that's something new you can get into and the gains, potential gains for this could be quite good, right? Because it's a new project and new projects always have more hype. So I suggested he moves his funds to base chain. So all he had to do there was change his Rubik, go to, he said he was on BNB. So you can take BNB, so you have BNB coin. Then you just take here, change that again we come and we just go base chain right base and pop over so then we just here i said you'll probably need eth or wrapped ETH. we're going to go with eth right then i'm going to show you what to do with it so bnb over say you had like two bnb then you just or 20 bnb whatever you have congratulations if you got 20 bnb you're rich <laughs> right you can send that over you're gonna get 3.4 eth right sent over to base chain right just Punch it in, send it, wait two minutes, your ETH's gonna arrive. Now you think, okay, what can I do on base chain? So my advice was to go here, but there are a couple other places that we could go to. I'm gonna make it simple though. I'm only gonna show you two, right? So what you could do with your ETH is come over to equalizer, right? So let's let me get myself on base chain as well. So I'll come here, type in base chain, base, right? So this is equalizer. It's on Phantom, it's also on base chain. On base chain, you're farming for a token called Scale. On Phantom, you're farming for a token called Equal. 
Now, what we can do, let me show you. You come here to liquidity and go to concentrated liquidity farms. This is probably the most bullish farm I've ever seen ever in crypto, to be honest, it's working so well. So the top ones are always phantom. You can turn them off like this, or if you want to look at the phantom ones, check them out, right? And then now we'll, all we have is the base ones. And the one I'm in is, where am I? I'm down here, right? So I put into this one, wrapped ETH pool. Let's read and see what it does first, right? This is great. It's a great place to sit your ETH with pretty amazing safe i've been in this for four months nothing in crypto is 100 percent secure right but this one i've been in for three months already and it's paying really well it's doing exactly what it said it's been doing for three months right this strategy maintains a target exposure of 80 percent towards eth only by depositing wrapped eth into this wrapped eth usd right stable coin Concentrate liquidity pool. It gives you 80% eth and 20% usd right so you, your liquidity pair if you can imagine this, right? Let me show. Right. So you're taking one coin, ETH or wrapped ETH, right? And you're depositing that into Equalizer. Then they're going to split it. They're going to take 80% of that and keep it as ETH. And take another 20% of that and they're going to keep it as USD, like dollar, right? Meaning that if ETH falls very sharply, the 20% will cushion it a little bit and you get pretty good APR because stable coins always generate more APR than. Ethereum, right? Single asset coins. So pairing them liquidity, then you get the trading fees from Equalizer, you generate yield, right? In good APR. And the best thing is that if ETH goes on a big pump, you are not worried because 80% of your pair is always held in ETH, right? So if ETH goes up 50%, you're going to get 45% of that pump, right? And the USDC will drag it back a bit, but you're getting yield on that as well. So it evens it out, right? So that's what it's doing. So you can see at the moment, I am 93% ETH because the market is choppy today, right? But usually this just sits nicely at 80%. And the impermanent loss on this has been fantastic, right? I have 1.36 ETH in here and $351. And I started with about 1.45, 1.5 ETH, right? So it's basically just stayed as is this whole entire time. I have $16 worth of scale token. So this is all I do. I farm in here, then I claim out my rewards. Base chain gas is also very cheap. So $16 is more than enough for good quality claiming, right? So we're going to claim this. Then I'm going to show you how to deposit into this and also how to swap to get the wrapped ETH, right? So we come here, we claim, grab that, and we'll sell that too. Why not? Um, you could also use Rubik and send over not as ETH on base. You could cut out the middleman and send over as wrapped ETH if you really wanted to as well. But we didn't. I didn't tell you to do that. So we're going to do it the long way, right? So we just claimed our tokens. We got them. We come up, scroll to the top. Then we're going to come over and we're going to click here on Equalizer, top left. Brings you to the main page for everything else. This is a very complex yield farm, actually, but I just showed you the simplest and easiest to use part of it that gives you good gains, right? We want to get some wrapped ETH. We come to trade and then we come to swap, right? For some reason, it's not letting me swap on base chain, but don't worry, there are plenty of other places to swap on base chain, so we might as well look at some other ones. So we, we can actually just come to pancake swap and it will do exactly the same kind of swapping because pancake swap is also on base chain. So you just change up here. You can change the base chain, right? Come to trade, then swap. And there you can swap your ETH for wrapped ETH until they fix whatever is going wrong with the equalizer. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, right. So there, then you want to take, you know, so let's take 0 0.1 uh, ETH and then we swap that for wrapped ETH, right? Okay, so now I, so my whole game is I sell the scale out of this into wrapped ETH and then I compound the wrapped ETH back in here to earn more APR, right? You're getting 30% APR on this at the moment. It can go up as high as 50 to 70 APR in some good days when trading volume's higher. Now we come here and we want to decide what to do. So we first we have to do two push deposit to get in this. First is mint, right? So first thing you want to do is we got the 0.1 ETH. So we're going to put that in 0.1 wrapped ETH, right? And we mint that. That's going to mint us our liquidity token for it. Success, we have approved. We are now minting. And then we need one last step. You can see this button's turned yellow. You need to stake your tokens. If you don't stake this $300, it's just gonna sit here and be really confused about what it's supposed to be doing. So we now stake the tokens into the protocol. Click that there, stake all, send it in. It's now gonna combine with my other 
um, Ethereum, right? That's sitting in there and we are then good. Everything's good. And that's it. Now your, your ETH is going to sit there 80% and 20% most days, 93% today because it's choppy days. It's volatile market that today and yesterday, hopefully not tomorrow. Let's get back to green and it's going to earn you 30% to 70% APR. You're going to get the scale token. Then all you need to do when it's working, don't know why it wasn't working today, but we then just come back to the swap page and you can then swap your scale back into ETH or you can use the scale inside of Equalizer as well to work inside of the governance and you know get involved with all that if you do want to. But I, I just like to turn it into ETH and continue to, to churn this because I'm providing liquidity to this platform, therefore I have the right to sell out. So that's my advice. That's what I think anyone who's thinking they want to get involved with the token launch First thing first, you must have yourself some NFTs and you're not going to get the airdrop. And that's the first thing that anyone should be doing, really. And that's that's pretty much the video for my advice on what we should be doing while we wait. Peace, crypto mischief, we could do each other. Don't get wrecked. All the links in the description. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.